Everyone's favorite TA here, Victor, to bring you some more information about the Stukin simulation and how you can be successful in the Stukin simulation. Just a quick background on myself, I'm a fourth year doctoral candidate here at the University of Houston, uh, and I've been a teaching assistant for this class for several years. We're really excited about the Stukin simulation this year because it helps students actually use some of the information that they learn throughout the class in a real world setting. Uh, so to this end, we find that a lot of students that actually graduate don't have a lot of experience uh, in actually using the strategies that they've learned. So we feel that this is a good starting point to dip your toes into the water. Now, when I had experience in the startup industry, one of the things that I found out was managing advertising platforms and asking the right questions is very difficult in the real world, especially if you don't have experience uh, using that. Oftentimes, it is a overwhelming experience to kind of jump into that. So the simulation offers a nice midpoint that's very manageable for students without the overcomplication of all of the platforms that you actually use in the real world. So for example, if you need to manage ads from Instagram, uh, Google, Facebook, YouTube, all of these have their own advertising platforms and different ways of managing those ads. In addition to that, there are several platforms that people use to do market research. For example, Qualtrics, uh, SurveyMonkey, or different groups that they actually pull from. So MTurkers or actual focus groups. Uh, these are all just examples of real world situations where it can get really complicated really quickly. Now the Sukin simulation will put this all in a simple interface that gives you the ability to use the information without the overcomplication of several different uh, companies' platforms. So with that in mind, we hope that the Stukin simulation offers a good starting point to get into this. So your role in the Stukin simulation is to launch a new product, specifically a new tote that competes with $300 to $500 bags, but at a more affordable price. Uh, now this is one of the pricing strategies that we just discussed in chapter 10, which is value added pricing. So you can see how this kind of aligns with the class material as well. So our learning objectives for this simulation are that you gain experience in new product development and launch, uh, and asking the right questions and using market research throughout a new product launch. So the first round of the simulation is the round that's focused on market research. It's where you will gather the information necessary to make effective decisions in the next six rounds. So the grading on round one is a simple completion grade. However, the next six rounds are gonna be using this information. So it's really important that you get the right information in this round. So you're gonna be doing two key things in this round, designing a survey for your target market. Uh, in this section, you'll select 11 questions that you can ask and get data for from your target market on. Uh, and then the next activity is purchasing market research. So you'll be given $5,000 to purchase relevant market research uh, to your new product. So how can you make sure that you have an effective survey uh, in the Stukin simulation to base your next six decisions off of? I recommend that you focus in on getting the most granular data that you can. Um, and this could be data referring to what platforms that your customers might use. And specifically, if there's questions about uh, just what platforms you use versus how much time do you spend on different platforms, it might be better to go with the more granular question to better understand how your target market is actually using their time. This will provide you information on strategies for advertising your product to your target market. In addition to that, you will be making decisions on supply chains to partner with who will have different focuses uh, related to like luxury or more casual appeals. So it's also good to get this information in the survey. You will also have some opportunities to partner with charitable causes. So knowing what causes best resonate with your target market might be some good questions to ask. It is also important to remember that you are launching a tote and not another product. So questions related to totes are preferable to other questions that might be related to handbags, for example. So in the next round of the simulation, you're going to be launching your product and that will involve picking a positioning statement, uh, the material of the bag, and also the style of the bag. So it is important to get information on uh, what materials are currently being used for totes uh, that 
your target market is purchasing, and in addition, what styles or sizes of bags would they prefer in a tote? So this is just some guidance on that survey specifically, and now we'll move over towards the market research. So in the market research section of the simulation, you'll be given $5,000 to purchase uh, different market research reports. So when you're purchasing these reports, it's important to remember what geographic regions are most relevant to you. So you'll be launching the bag in North America. So it is preferable to get information on North America rather than global trends, for example. Uh, and in addition, you are launching a tote instead of a handbag. So tote information is preferable as well. Uh, now, you can also purchase a advertising report on handbags for the industry, which is the only advertising market research report that's available. So while it is not your direct product, it is a parallel market that might reflect uh, some of what you are launching into's habits. So you can either get that advertising information from the market research report, or you can also get it from the survey, or you can do both to optimize your strategy. But at a high level, it's important to buy the North American uh, reports and also reports related to totes. So this is some information that will help you be successful in that market research portion of the simulation, and it will get you well positioned to ace the next six rounds of the simulation. So I hope these, this video was helpful, and if you have any more questions or concerns, please reach out to me at my TA email, which is victor.mark.uh at gmail.com and it's also listed in the syllabus. Or you can come by my office hours every Thursday from two o'clock to four o'clock. Thank you students and I hope you all do well in the simulation.